What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and in today's episode we're going to be introducing a new game pack to the series. We're going to be looking at the outdoor retreat but probably in a way that you guys wouldn't expect. Last episode we had Evie and Apple get married and it went really well. It was a very pretty raunchy ridiculous time I guess is the best way to describe it. I was really happy with that episode. This episode they have to go on a honeymoon. That's what you do after a wedding. You know what? We need to get away from the family. That's one thing people are always saying when are they all going to move out and as I've always said they're not going to but it is nice to get away from everybody every now and then. Emma working out surprise surprise and we got the boys as well so yeah I think we're going to be planning a trip. I think that's what you do. I actually haven't seen this game pack used pretty much at all so this is going to be a new experience for me and hopefully for some of you guys as well. I'm pretty sure that you can, let me see, take a vacation? Right? Yeah, okay, good. Because Apple doesn't have a job. She's not taking a vacation from a job. She's planning a vacation. Barbie, you can't come. That would be weird. We are going to take our wife. Right, there's a new world. I totally forgot about this. Granite Falls. Cool, okay. So we have $40,000 to spend on this. Well, we probably shouldn't spend the entire funds of the family on a honeymoon, but I'm sure they would understand. So we have a campground. So, oh, they have prices per day. Campground for 111. We have a lakeside retreat for 893. We have forest hideaway, a riverside retreat, green getaway, or Sims cannot go on vacation on non-rental lots. So what is that? Is that like a little hidden lot? We might need to go exploring that once we get here. Okay, so I don't know, like what what looks good. I don't think we're going to need four beds. Probably not going to need two beds either. I think one bed should be good enough. <laughs> and yeah, I should probably mention that is going to be my goal for this episode because I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't played this before. We're going to explore. We're going to see what the game pack has to offer. But for the honeymoon side of things, if we can be romantic with one another and woohoo a couple of times, I'll be pretty happy. So I think we're going to go with the green getaway. You guys are still wearing your wedding dresses. Should we... <laughs> Should we change that? I mean, you're technically <laughs> camping right now, so, eh, you know, it's great. You guys can do whatever you want. Yeah, ooh, this place is perfect. This looks just right for one couple. You know, it has a nice bed, has a TV. Ooh, we got some stuff in the backyard. There's a game. Let's play a game. Oh, hello. Who the hell are you? It's like a forest ranger. Oh, there's people in this as well. What? Who are you? Sawyer Emmons, young adult. Oh, so she doesn't even have a job here. She's just wandering around dressed like a park ranger. I've been playing way too much Firewatch and other games that make me think everybody's a murderer. So when I see somebody walk by and they're dressed like a park ranger but doesn't say they're a park ranger, I instantly think serial killer. Now, oh, come on, Evie, do better than that. So yeah, I don't... Oh, hello, friends. I'm Sawyer, your friendly forest ranger. I'm chock full of camping knowledge. So if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, uh Sawyer, there's a bear. There's a bear. Uh, Sawyer, should you be, like, shooting it or something? What? Oh, my God. Okay. Can we fight it? What the hell? We can introduce ourselves to it. Oh, it's a guy in a bear suit. Once again, getting the, the murderer vibes. If it was an actual bear walking around, then I wouldn't feel so bad. You know, you see a bear, you leave it alone, and it'll go away. A guy in a bear suit wandering around the woods? That, yeah, that's like uh, insane murderer vibes. I don't know how I feel about this guy. We should, Apple, stop talking to him. What is his name? Stefan Barrow. Okay, we're, we're gonna stop, we're gonna go back to our wife, we're gonna go back to playing her game. Well, that was weird. This is a really cool game back already, I'm already incredibly impressed. There seems to be a lot more in it than I'd expected. There's a bunch of people out and about, you know, fishing, walking around in bear costumes, I don't know. But yeah, many of you remember that actually, um, it wasn't Apple, was it? It was Tommy was the result of Emma and Kevin's honeymoon episode, which is actually the most popular episode of the life of Kevin ever. So this one has a lot to live up to. I really wanted to do something special. There's a lot of loud nature here. Holy shit. I really wanted to do something special and huh? Apple, come on, you could do better than that. And I wanted to do something special. Nothing's gonna screw me up now? Okay, great. A and I wanted to introduce something new, so I thought, you know what, why not get this game pack? It's something we haven't looked at yet. It's really neat. So far, I'm loving it. So what else can we do, I wonder? 
Maybe we should go exploring for a little bit. If we're gonna go exploring, you guys need to get out of your wedding dresses, okay? You're gonna ruin them. I know they look absolutely wonderful. You're also completely eating shit at this game. Yeah, okay. How about this? If you guys can make one ring, we'll go exploring. It has been like 20 minutes, and she is ecstatic when she misses. Both of them are... Neither of them have made a single shot. Apple, Apple, please. I want to go exploring. I want to go see what the game pack has to offer. Everybody's waiting. Just, just make this shot. Okay, you know what? Screw it. All right, you guys are all changed. I was gonna ask, what do you want to do? But we're not doing that yet. It's still daytime. We get to go exploring. We get to go see what's out here. I mean, there's got to be stuff out here, right? Look, these guys have a game as well. Is this... This place looks to be a little bit more open world than the rest of The Sims. I think you can actually go... Like, in between backyards and stuff like that. That's really cool. So we can see the other places that we could have rented. Yeah, that would have been way too big. What are you guys doing? You're being flirty with each other? Calm down, okay? We got uh, we got some signs. We got some ranger stuff going on. There's got to be something to do. What is this? That's a pooper. And death. What are you doing, death? Grim Reaper, young adults. Just wandering around the, <laughs> wandering around the woods looking for campers. And uh, he's going to go take a poop. Everybody's, everybody poops. I want to see what this hidden lot is. It's not really a hidden lot, but we can't walk to it. It's called Granite Falls Forest National Park. And it's got a little house there. So I'm incredibly curious as to what this is. I think worst case scenario is it'll be a little bit of a romantic walk. I mean, it looks like there's a place for a campfire and more horseshoe game. They love their horseshoe games out here. It's definitely some pros. And uh, another house. What the hell? What is all this? There's like frogs and bugs and ooh, hey, apples into it, fireflies and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I know I've already said it, but I'm, I'm really getting like a Blair Witch Project vibe out of this. Is there anybody living here or around? Okay, there's a tower, and the tower leads. Oh, well, that's quite nice. We could, we could go up here and sit down and talk. Yeah, I like that idea. This is a little romantic, right? It's a good start to a honeymoon, at least. We get to enjoy each other's company, the outdoors, we get to enjoy the view. I just, I still, I don't know what it is. This whole place just kind of freaks me out. I feel like two girls in a strange cabin in the middle of the woods with a bunch of, like, animals and stuff in cages. You would just add, like, a little bit of creepy music and, like, a somber shadow walking around looking in through windows and stuff. And all of a sudden you get a really big cabin in the woods vibe from it. All right, let's light a fire. Whoa. We can keep the bears away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. Can we not? Can we not? It's a honeymoon. Not looking to die here. Ah. Oh, okay. Just get the yeah. mosquitoes away. We don't need to go killing ourselves. I really didn't feel that place. You know, it really did feel like a witch's cabin out in the middle of the woods. Didn't quite like it. So we're back at our cabin and there is a new thing that they introduced as well. There's a new interaction. I believe you can ask somebody to stargaze, right? Yeah, stargaze. That's really cool. Who the hell is that? Wait a minute. Isn't isn't that the same guy? Yeah, Stefan Barrow. He took off his bear costume. Oh, man. The people out here are weird. This is nice. I actually really like this. I don't usually review game packs, but whenever I get one, I like to point out the things that I like, even if I just take a minute to do so. And something like this, when it's small, actually does add a lot to the experience because for the longest time the sims whenever you would interact with one another you would just stand up and talk to each other and it was it got really boring you know no matter what the conversation was you were standing you were facing another sim you were talking and that was it but with stuff like this with stargazing with get together you could sit and talk or interact with groups sitting by the pool sitting around a fire anything like that that can add to the experience i really enjoy so stargazing is pretty cool and we didn't get stabbed by uh, the bear guy and we're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes so okay can we can we not we're getting away from the fire now guys we're going inside one advantage to honeymooning with two female sims is you don't need to worry about a baby anymore so we get to woohoo all we want and we're not gonna have any little tommies by accident everybody knew that this was gonna happen it clearly had to happen so this like wooden log bed is gonna have to do we'll go exploring tomorrow you know what I'm sure that there are a couple of creative places to go but for now this is a good place to start. Technically, they already had their honeymoon during the wedding. I really couldn't prevent that. They literally went from the altar to a bush in like 2.5 seconds. I'm kind of surprised that there isn't more to do or at least more people around. You would expect this place to be packed. There seems to be a lot of camping places to go. What is this? That, that can't be a pooper, right? This is something else. Ooh, we can order things. 
camping information, explore the woods, take a bathroom break. Let's go explore the woods. That seems like a good idea. Okay, where where is everybody? You know what? You guys have been sleeping long enough. I know you had a long, rough night together, but it is time to get out of bed, sleepy heads. Ah. Up and at them. We're gonna go explore the woods. Guys, if we're gonna go explore the woods, we should probably wear something a little safer. Oh, Campsite camp sing-alongs are a long-standing tradition among campers. It's just too bad tradition does not equate to quality vocalists. Keep at it, one day you might be a lead of passion sing-along. Okay, what the hell? What, what do we care about that? Let's go exploring the woods. I'm not, I'm not even gonna try. I'll just do you do whatever you want, guys. Yeah, that. just just hug it out, wander around the woods in your underwear. You know what? Why why negative emotions? Why why did the hug lead to negatives? Bombs so we're exploring the woods. This is a thing you can do. Apparently, I've already come across two park rangers. Both of them gave us judgmental looks. But you know what? Screw it. We're on a honeymoon. We're not gonna let anybody judge us. I don't want to zoom out and look at the map. I kind of want to just look around. I don't want to cheat too much. I feel like that's too easy. We can kind of look around. We can actually explore together a little bit. I think I saw... Was there... There was a place to... Yeah, you know what? Let's go search for frogs. Ooh. Gotta be something cool in there, right? <laughs> Just don't get, like, stung by a scorpion or something. I don't know. Whoa, did you find something? That's a noise. Oh, wait. I gotta turn this off. You found one striped eggplant frog. What the hell is a striped eggplant frog? Oh, it's a pet. We have a pet frog now. That's cool. Okay, we can take that home with us. That's gonna be our honeymoon frog. What's this over here? I'm always like curious if there's gonna be something up against the walls because that's how you find secret areas. No way. I was wondering if they added a new hidden area to this one because we've been to, oh God, um, the grotto and we've been to whatever, the Sylvan Glade. Almost forgot, we've done both. But I didn't know if they introduced one with this, because it's not really a world, it's like a half world, it's not like a neighborhood. But we're gonna go exploring this, and uh, Evie, you should come. No, Evie, don't play horse shoes, come watch. Your wife is about to go into some giant tree vagina and disappear. Evie, she's gone. Oh, exploring the brambles, surrounded by thicket thorns and danger most assuredly, Apple is left with only one decision, step forward or retreat from adventure. Oh, what? I don't... Okay, let's step forward. These are these are like quizzes. You have to guess right, and if you get wrong, then you get sent back. And so far, I've been lucky. I haven't screwed up one yet. Okay. After several minutes of hacking furiously through the brush, a large web is blocking Apple's way. One would prefer that web is not paired with a spider. Find alternate route or go through the web. You're not wearing a lot of protective clothing. If you get bit by a spider, that'd be bad. I really don't want her to get sick, but... Oh, man, let's go through it. You know what? Screw it. Evie? Evie? I don't know. I don't know what we're doing, Evie. Oh, okay. Uh, that was a good one, I guess. Apple marches through the brush in high spirits, swinging her arms and singing songs when a shiny object catches the eye. Ah, temptation. Ignore the object. Take the object. We're taking every shiny object we can get our hands on. Watch the mosquitoes. You guys aren't wearing very mosquito repellent gear. Uh, as Apple reaches for the shiny, succulent treasure, more shiny treasures, things, blink, in, gulp. The shine was not that of a jewel, but of a woodland monster? Huh. And you just walked away from it. Huh. What? We're gonna try that again, because you know what? I'm sure there's something at the end of this, and if it's a monster, then that will be really cool, and if it's a new area, then that will be perfect for a honeymoon episode. After several minutes of hacking through, okay, uh, find alternate or go through the web. Let's go through the web again, because that worked, right? And then this time, we are not going to interact. Oh, it's different. Wait, does that mean the monster's gone? This is weird, I've never seen this before. Apple feels she's on the verge of finding something special, something to make this all worth it, but it quickly, but, but is quickly tiring. Should Apple take a nap or sally forward? Sally forward. Sally ho! Apple has navigated the nigh foiling foliage to discover a sacred cove in the mists of the forest, a cove containing a mysterious sim. What? Alright guys, I know I was joking about a monster and a witch and stuff, but I'm a little concerned as to where the hell we are right now. We... there was a mysterious sim in here apparently. Could be Sam Squatch? Because that would be interesting. What is going on here? There's... there's a... it's very pretty. We should zoom out and take a look. You know what? I don't mind cheating a little bit. Oh, this is really cool. All the same, very pretty map. What? Okay, there's a house here. Oh! 
Who are you? Just a guy living out here. Pat Burges. I thought this was gonna be eventful, like a like a monster or a witch. It's just it's just some dude in the woods. Am I missing something? Is there some kind of like pop culture reference with Pat Burges? Burges? Either way, he must be wondering what the hell is going on because he lives in the middle of nowhere and two very scantily clad women have decided to introduce themselves. He has a lovely garden. Actually, he has a very pretty house as well. But I don't I don't understand. Does he have a basement? No. Okay, he doesn't have a basement. Odds of him being a murderer have gone down like 40%. Seems to be going all right. I don't really... Whoa! Oh, it was a joke. Okay, good, because I thought Evie was about to slap down on a bitch. What are you doing? That was beautiful. What just happened? You need to do that again. Did this pack add, like, new interactions with people as well? Was that what Serenade was? I want to I wanna see what serenading is. I'm not seeing Serenade here. I've seen it a bunch of times before. It's be enticing. There's offer massage. I think that's what she did. I think she serenaded her. What are you guys up to? Oh, no. I saw... I saw this. Guys, guys, this isn't our house. This is, this is this guy's house. He was nice. Well, kind of. He slapped Apple. It was a little bit weird. Okay, so this is happening. Got a honeymoon where you can, I guess. This guy's, I hope he doesn't get pissed off. He's too occupied with his plants. I think we're good. I can safely say I did not expect this episode to go here. I, I thought we were going to go camping, we were going to have a lovely honeymoon, I didn't think we were going to meet a hermit in the woods and then bang in his bed. Uh-oh, uh-oh, fin finish up, finish up, he's coming! Never mind, he's he's far too occupied with his plants. <laughs> what a weirdo. Okay, how'd that go? Honeymoon success? Right? No babies. Honeymoon success! And this guy has a frog too. Can we take his frog? Oh dear. Hey! Yeah, we... Uh, I wasn't gonna steal your frog. Nope, don't mind me. Uh, wasn't wasn't doing anything. What are you up to? Well, because we're not doing anything. We were just looking at your frog. And uh, your bed looks lovely. What would happen if we woohoo in front of him, I wonder? Would he... Would he care? I want to find out. I just want to try pushing the envelope. I want to see if we could really piss this guy off. I'm never gonna see him again. Who gives a shit? Yeah, woo, okay. This guy's like, oh, I've had such a long day gardening. I just, I can't wait to go lie down. <laughs> Take a nap. Ooh, what's gonna happen? I'm always afraid I'm gonna break this game. Lumina. Do you guys have a problem? Is it, is it just not gonna work? We can't make, we can't make it work. Can't do it. So just to recap, we are currently two girls in the middle of nowhere at a stranger's house, just having woohooed in his bed, wearing nearly nothing, working on building a chair. So you know what, I think I'm gonna leave this episode of the life of Kevin here, guys, because I have no idea what else we could do with this honeymoon. And I want to go on a vacation with the rest of the family, like a whole family vacation. We go, we can go camping, we do more camping things, get a tent, do some stargazing together, sit around the fire, that kind of stuff. I'll do more outdoor retreat stuff eventually, but I wanted to get this done. I wanted to have a honeymoon episode for the girls because we did it for Kevin and Emma, you know what, it's only fair. And it did lead to be a pretty interesting episode, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time sir sir i need you to come back here okay now if we let you go can i come back come back ah shit oh oh i got it oh that's not good oh that's not good oh dear rico i think we done fucked up